It's time for our annual watercolor holiday card tutorial. Last week I released five different card designs on Instagram. You voted for your favorite and today that's exactly what I'll be painting. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Shada and it's finally time for our watercolor holiday cards tutorial. The video today is sponsored by the lovely Genuine Crafts and I'll be using their 48 pan watercolor set to complete my uh, Christmas ornament card. This set has a beautiful selection of colors, there's a palette in the lid and you also get two water brushes. I'm gonna link that in the video description so check it out after the tutorial. We're also going to be using blank greeting cards. I pick up these card and envelope sets at the dollar store. They come in both craft paper and white and cream. And then all I do is cut little pieces of watercolor paper to fit on those cards. So it's a lot easier and I think cheaper than finding watercolor greeting cards. So just an idea. And then today I am using two sable hair brushes, a number four and a number two and I will link those in the description as well. I have a set of good sable hair brushes, pointed round brushes that I really like. And then I will grab just a synthetic brush, a cheap brush for all my mixing, because mixing paints can be a little hard on your brushes, so it's good to have a cheaper one for that. So let's start mixing up some of these beautiful paints. The Genuine Craft set comes with a really nice color selection, and the first color that I want to mix up is a very rich blue. So there is quite a rich blue here, and I'm going to mix uh, lots of water into this blue. Uh, so you always want to add lots and lots of water to your paints. And then I am going to mix a little purple in there as well. And you'll see what happens when I add the purple. It really helps to uh, give the blue a little bit of depth. So we are doing this beautiful ornament card and I want the blue to be very rich, very deep royal color. Here's the card that we're going to be making. I had a little vote on my Instagram. You can follow me at Shada Campbell on IG and uh, this was the winning card. I had done five so <laughs> this was the winner by far. Everyone voted and that's why we're painting it today. So we're starting with the ornament and that's why you want this beautiful blue. But of course you could do any uh, color so just test out your color on a little piece of scrap paper and then if you're following along we're going to take uh, I'm using a cookie cutter but you could use you know a little jar or whatever to trace a circle and that'll be the ornament and then I like to kind of mark out where I might paint some of the evergreen sprigs that lie in behind the design of this card is pretty simple you've got the message at the bottom and uh, by tracing a circle um, the card comes together pretty easily which is nice and then just a quick reminder before we start painting that if you would like to print my card, all of the channel bonus content is available on Patreon. You can head over there after the tutorial. So let's take some of our rich blue and we're going to start painting the ornament. Now I love this card because it looks so dainty, it looks so intricate, um, but the design is actually pretty simple and that's really what I try to do on the channel is to present art projects where when you do a little it looks like a lot. There are so many ways to make the simple look so beautiful and uh, this card is a little more intricate than the ones we did last last year where it was just a tiny wreath but it follows kind of the same principle where you're not doing anything overly complicated these are just simple little shapes you know I do little berries and little leaves and by using a small brush and just taking your time you can do something that looks um, so thoughtful and so intricate but it's actually not that complicated I think the ornament took me about 10 minutes to paint um, so just use the very tip of that pointed round brush I'm using my number two for this and uh, Think about a few different leaf designs. You might do uh, a small one and then one that's a little larger. You can see I did a large one here where the leaves are actually white with just a blue line down them. And then of course I mixed in some berries and some tiny, almost like little ferns. And you don't need a lot, four or five different leaf designs and just mix them all together and make sure that you have some of the uh, leaves sort of coming from the edge of that 
that circle to help with the look of the sphere. And then that is my ornament all done. Well, at least the blue is all done. So it took about 10 minutes, like I said. Next thing we're going to do is go back to our Genuine Crafts palette and mix up some greens. This set actually has nine different greens, so I really like that because I'm always um, painting plants and botanicals. But what I'm doing here is I've taken a minty green, a darker green, and then I'm going to mix a little purple into it as well. I find mixing purple into the green helps to darken it, but it also helps to give it that evergreen uh, look. So I'll show you what that looks like on the page in a second, but I'm mixing up a warmer green. And this warmer green, I'm also mixing a little purple into it. And then I'm going to mix just a hint of red into it as well. And the red just helps to mute it slightly uh, so it takes some of the brightness out of the green it uh, is a contrasting color so it kind of deadens it a little and I like that especially for the evergreen we want these dark rich greens so take a look at them on the card here we're going to start painting the uh, the Christmas tree in behind the ornament and uh, this also looks quite detailed but actually it's just these quick thin, easy brush strokes. Add a little light green paint, like very, very watery light paint to kind of fill out that evergreen if you like. Or you can just do these simple thin brush strokes and leave it at that. So kind of how far you go with the evergreen is totally up to you. And I want to take just a second to say thank you to Genuine Crafts again for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard, Genuine Crafts now has their Gen Crafts Club. And members get access to exclusive deals, promotions, tutorials, giveaways, and contests with prizes. There's also lots of chances to have your art featured on their social pages. And friends, if you'd like to receive 15% off the paints being used in this video, click the link below. That link will take you to Facebook Messenger where you can sign up there to receive the deal. As the pine boughs come together, you can see that I've done some a little heavier. Just I keep layering more and more brush strokes to get those uh, weighty evergreen sprigs. And then some I've kept a little thinner and sketchier. And I think the combination of the two looks really nice. When you're happy with the evergreen, uh, you can mix up a little bit of brown and then I like to put just a little brown line down the center of a few of the pine boughs and maybe add some tiny little twigs going off to the left and the right. And I'm going to add the brown center to just the pine boughs that are a little heavier. The ones that are quite sketchy and light, I'll leave those green and I think that'll look nice as well. And then I am going to simply add a little bit of a yellow ochre to the top of the ornament. You could do any color here. If you happen to have metallics in your palette, you could do that. But I've just mixed up a bit of yellow and brown. As the painting begins to dry, you can erase those initial pencil lines, anything that might still be showing. And uh, if you want to, you can add a bit of gray just to add a little hint of shading to the bauble here. And this is my card almost finished. I'm so excited for Christmas this year. I love doing a lot of Christmas crafting. I love doing homemade gifts and Christmas ornaments. And I always get into knitting at this time of year and baking. And there's just so many great seasonal crafts to be done. So let me know what you're up to. If you're a seasonal crafter or baker, I would love to hear about it. But I've added a little message at the bottom. Just, I always do it in pencil first, then go over it in pen, and then of course a bit of glue to affix that to the blank card. And there we are, that is my holiday card for 2019. I hope you like it. Thank you again to Genuine Crafts for sponsoring our video today. For more information or to visit their site, head to the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon with a new tutorial.